What is up today guys? Today I'm doing something super awesome. I'm unboxing something brand new for the art room. Is my shirt dirty? It's always super fun to get something new for like just the room, the supplies, and anything that can help me make art. So today I'm unboxing a new art desk. <laughs> the glass top drafting table. I think this is going to be super awesome. My current desk or table, whatever you want to call it, is a table from JC Penney's. They were selling everything and I just bought the, the table for 20 bucks. It's a clothing table, you know, for displays and stuff like that. But today, I've got a drafting table with a nice glass top. It's going to lift up. Hopefully it will be super awesome for uh, drawing and stuff like that. It was originally $2.69 and I got it for half off and then I had gift cards from Christmas. So I only paid like 50 bucks. You cannot beat that. Brought the camera around to a more familiar setting. But this is the Master Touch Fine Art Studio Art and Craft Station. Cool. Got it at the old Hobby Lobby. I can only assume that the actual desk drafting table thing is as big as this box, if not a little bit smaller, which ends right here. And my current table goes from here to way over here. So I'm losing space. But hopefully the, like the quality and just the setup and everything's gonna be just so much better for me we'll we'll see we'll see but it says it's got uh, an adjustable angle from flat to 42 degrees multiple storage options on desk slide out shelf for extra space very nice steel frame construction for durability foam trays for pencils and markers four wide floor levers for stability metal art tray with swivel cup oh yeah slide up pencil ledge all right Cool. Okay, it's been delayed enough. Let's get into this. Literally. You know what's better than one knife? Three. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. We are dropping stuff immediately out of the box, such as styrofoam, cardboard, and this thing. This is probably our glass top, I would assume. Yeah. No, there's styrofoam in there. Let me get you guys over here too. It looks like underframe. It's like Christmas, right? All right, so what are you? Oh, there is the glass. Ah, okay. I knew it. I thought it. We're all good. Okay. Am I gonna take things out of the bag before I read the instructions? Well, if they put the instructions at the bottom, they're not that important. That's the rule. <laughs> Let's see. We got this part. Very nice. Oh, okay, good. It's number. Number five. <laughs> styrofoam. I have a styrofoam canvas. I might keep this. But we immediately get to what I assume will be my favorite thing about this desk, drafting table, whatever. And that is the glass. Nice. Really heavy. It's got the uh, little screw guys already in it. So I think it's gonna be super cool. A second canvas. That's the end of that cardboard box. Cool. All right, so then we've got what looks like it's gonna be the uh, sliding shelf. That'd be pretty cool. Or maybe it's not. I don't know. I saw this put together in store, so I've like I've seen it in person. But there's so many pieces. We've got our um, this. These look like the sidebars, so it's like it's got a cup. It's got a friggin' cup holder. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm excited about that. Because as I'm sure a lot of you know, I do love my coffee, and I tend to have coffee or espresso when I'm making stuff. And to have a cup holder built into your desk, no more use of that friggin' uh, coaster. Can't see it, but there's one there. No more using that. It's got a freaking cup holder. I am very excited to try that out. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Uh, okay, so it looks like we've got our legs, and these uh, appear to be adjustable. Oh, that was magic. Call me Doctor Strange. And we've got the twin. Can we do it again? Magic. No. Okay, then we've got what is probably just a bunch of tools, maybe screws, um, just hardware in general. Wow, look at me being dead wrong. We've got our cup. This is probably what goes in that little thing, but I wonder if it's strong enough to just hold a, like a cup on its own with, without this. We'll definitely be trying that. Uh, I assume these are legs, feet, or whatever. Some height adjustable screws and stuff. No idea what this is. A bar. And then this thing, the golden, 
The golden child. Um, sorry, Encanto. I believe this is the adjustable thing. We've got a whack'em stick, like a pool noodle, whack. And then you hear someone say the F word, you know, TikTok. Speaking of TikTok, I'm on the old TikTok now. You know, if sometimes you just don't have time for a full YouTube video, check out the old TikTok. There's condensed versions of my videos. Moving on, we've got a basket. Another basket. There are the instructions. <laughs> Do not return to store. You bought it. Don't return it. It's yours now. You're stuck with it. The instructions are at the bottom, so they must not be that important. Oh, cool. They're all of our parts. I love when they come like this and everything's laid out and uh, it's just really easy to find. Freaking love it, my personal opinion. And then we've just got a bunch of random pieces of metal. We've got this great thingy with some dust on it. It's been there a while. More styrofoam. I threw that over there and it landed over here. Get rid of this guy. Don't hit the camera. Oh, you hit the camera. All right, so now let's go ahead and build the new desk with the help of the old desk. Let's get into it. Literally. We already did that joke. This kills me. Do not return to store. Malfunctional, it's on you. The very first thing it says is do not fully tighten any bolt until step four. Why am I tightening bolts if I cannot fully tighten them? Get those two things, then you take all those screws or whatever and uh, do the thing. Okay. Step one involves these guys. If this is how high the desk can go, that's pretty cool. Cause my other desk is kind of down here. If you can go up to here, that'd be pretty cool. I don't have to like necessarily sit down. I can stand if I want. Okay, so the little spiky guys face each other. Something like that. Do the applause. Okay, and then I'll need number 11, which is, which is, which is right next to me. This holy thing. That looks way more complicated than it really is. There's just so many numbers, so many things on the page. It's not that hard. Okay, put that on, but it says, don't tighten it. Cool, we won't. Now it's telling me to take my feet and put them on the bottom. Wobbly, because it's not locked down. I like those feet. Take the little stickers off. Is there gonna be a 23? I got a little happy and then a little sad. Found the number 19 here on the foot, and I was like, oh cool, 19 sticker. Just throw it on my shirt, cool. And then I was like, 23. 23 is unfortunately a bolt with no sticker. I was gonna have 2319 on me. There's only nine steps. We're one ninth of the way through, cool. So it's telling us to now put these on, which just kind of already came with it. This one's pretty loose. This one uh, requires a little bit more care. Uh, so let's see, what's this telling me to do? Oh, number 10, it was that bar that I had no idea what it was. Number 10 will be screwed on right here, just on the side. And you take another 22 screws to the 12. And it looks like the picture, yeah, there we go. This uh, little ledge here is gonna rest on that. That doesn't seem secure. Dang. Okay, so I, I can see how that's secure. And then we're gonna take our number 18 thingies, the things that go in here, and I suppose tighten these down as they lift up and stuff. All right, step two done. Okay, so there are no, no words for step three, so that's cool. Parts eight, nine, and 16. Part eight, it looks like this is just supposed to set, maybe not set. Not set on top, mm, what? Not set on top of, but be screwed in right here. Okay, cool. And again, it has this taller ledge side on my left. What, where do you go? A little bit like so, all right. Okay, now, it also says I need piece 16. Piece 16 was that gold piece that we found earlier which I believe is the height adjustable part. It's got these sharp teeth, kind of cool. Okay, so the teeth are in the back. Where does this go? Okay, so I think all it's doing is just telling me to screw that in right there. Okay, now we're moving on to step four. Frick yeah. Um, this thing is just loose on here, but it looks like after step four, we'll get to tighten everything down finally, because this thing is a wobbly mess. Okay, I need parts 13, again, metal. All this has been metal so far, so pretty cool. Now I need 26 bolts, which are just in the most inconvenient part of this package. So 
So it looks like this is going to go underneath here. Oh, yeah, 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 there we are. Connect up to that. So it's just a support between these two backsides. Oh, I need a regular screwdriver. Give me one. Okay, give me a second. Now it's telling me to put these 28s, which are honestly just some like rubber pieces, I'm assuming, to, I don't know, hold the glass on top um, back here on these parts. Now that steps one through four are done, I can finally tighten everything down because this is a wobbly mess. Why could I not tighten things to begin with? Because now I'm like, what is there to tighten? Literally everything. <laughs> Got it all tightened down. Took a few minutes, but less wobbly. So we are on the right track. Four of nine done. Cool. Alrighty. I think we're at a point where it's finally tall enough where I can take it off the desk and like work on it while it's on the ground. It's so little, but let's do one of these things. Do one of these things. And before you know it, <laughs> nothing happens. Ah, there we go. And there we go, now it's a little bit taller. If we're able to like angle it up this high too, I can just stand here and draw. That's pretty cool. Okay, insert the baskets. Insert our, so we'll insert our baskets. There we go. Hey, okay, there we go. Pretty big baskets too, I like it. Okay, so without any kind of pin, we'll just slide right out both ways. But if we put this little pin right here, we got one here, we'll put one here, and one right here. Now we can pull them, and the pins will stop them from coming out. And coming out the back. All right, so it's telling me to take my little shelf here. Yeah, pretty nice, I like it. It's uh, quite solid. Okay, so there are slight holes like right here. So I guess we'll just slide this right on in here. Like that, cool. So here's one thing I want to want to point this out. So I put it in the little little area here that I noticed a little dented right here on the corner. Not terribly so, but it's dented enough where you know I can feel it. So I was like, oh, okay, no problem, no biggie. I'll just flip it over. That way it's on the bottom. Well, once you put it in, it severely scratches it up. Let me see if I can catch it in the light. Oh yeah, I think you, you might be able to see that. I'm not sure. But there are definitely scratches on this now, so that side will remain down. All right, so it looks like we're gonna take these, wow, screws here, and then screw them into the holes in the shelf. That way um, the screws will prevent the shelf from like just falling out. Okay, don't want it too tight where I can't move it. Just want it tight enough so that it uh, won't fall out. There we go. Nice. Definitely scratching the underside of that, for sure. Okay, that was step five. We're doing good. All right, step six. Okay, this step is all about this piece, number five. I'll just rest you right there. Another one, I'll rest you right there. Okay, it says to start it like that. Okay, so we're gonna take our little bracket thingy here, take our little bolts. Gosh, this one just doesn't wanna go. You can hear that, that's a good sound of metal. All these pieces have been metal except for this shelf. I feel like that's like a, not metal, it's like a fake wood kind of thing. Particle board, that's what it feels like. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, thought of it. It then says to uh, turn it over, okay. Flip it over. So this guy is gonna connect onto our little golden thing. All right, so we're finally starting to see how this thing's gonna start rising, which is, uh, it's cool. Did the L bracket, we did the, this part. Screw the L shapes onto our main parts. Okay, cool. So yeah, it looks like I just come down here. And screw this guy on here. Oh, <laughs> nice. Just for a second, look at this. The top of it's right here. I can stand up and draw. This is a pretty nice height. 
And it's clear, so it's like, you guys would be able to see me even if I did a video like this. That's pretty cool. All right, so now to put it down, I think I just gotta pull it past, and then I can rest it. There we go, cool. Well, that better not be a thing. All uneven and whatnot. Maybe, maybe when glass is on there, it'll be heavy enough to like weigh that down. And then we can pull this out as like a whole separate table. Oh, cool. That was perp six, seven, eight, nine. That's all. That's all we got left, guys. Let's do it. Oh, perp seven looks super easy. We're just screwing some suction cup thingies onto it. Some suction cups. All right. So it looks like these guys are just gonna pop on in, pop them in the holes. That was pretty friggin' easy. Okay. Part eight. Looks like we're gonna take our glass. Nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm liking that. Okay, so now once that's down, then it says we'll kind of lift this up some. Because there are two screws right back here that we need to get. But that's cool. Oh man, that's cool. So these guys will just be screwed right on in here. Oh shoot, you know what this is? This is a good demonstration of how I can have something here, like on the side, and have like a reference or something on the table underneath. Or I don't have to, man, I don't even know what I could do with that, but I like it. Part 15 gets screwed on. I assume that's like the, uh, the pencil ledge. <laughs> of course, has to have the friggin' website. Not sponsored, just bought a desk. <laughs> Yeah, that bouncing's not really there. All right, so it looks like this will just screw right on in there. I think this is a pretty cool feature. One which on one of my past desks, like when I was real young, didn't have this feature. So it always got in the way, but look at that. I can slide it up to like have a pencil rest or I can slide it down so that it's just a flat surface. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That, that is a cool feature, I'll give them that. Like I said, I've had a drafting table before. Um, it was like a wooden one, uh, very similar to this, but this ledge here was like a permanent fixture of it. So if I'm just like drawing when it's flat and it was still there, cause like it's a permanent fixture, uh, it would like just dig into my arm and I'd be like, dang it, I don't like this. But this, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. I'm, I'm digging it. That was step eight, we're on the last step. Oh my gosh, this friggin' piece of foam I made fun of <laughs> is in the picture with an iPhone. There it is. <laughs> uh, okay, it's cool, but like, you came so close. If you had this design in metal or wood or even this particle board, you'd win me over. But maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we just have to attach the thing on the side, and uh, then it looks like we're set. We got our side piece right here, and this is the thing that has the. Nice rotating part here. And like I'm saying, if this can hold a cup besides the cup that it came with, I think that'd be really cool. Okay, so let's go and get this attached. These are super weird. They're like, they're, oh, I don't even know what this shape is, like a really used crayon. Let the debate start on how to say that word. I think I go more crayon, but I, I go crayon. But I don't go crown. I, I say crayon, but I, I lean toward the side that says crayon. It's a crayon, but I say crayon. I'm getting to myself. Okay, let's just finish this up. There's no like hole for it to go into. It just butts up against the uh, rest of the desk. Alrighty, and then all that's left is the humble cup. It looks like it just it's right in there. This thing is awesome as all get out. But I did say I want to test it, so let me go get a cup real quick. We're gonna use this exclusive Tetradart glass. Remove this cup, add in this cup. <laughs> it holds it and it goes so far below. But will it hold it? You crank it up. How is that not cool? If I just have a straw there? <laughs> oh, yes. That's, that's pretty neat. This ring is metal and it spins too, so it's pretty cool. Okay, so for the time being, I'm probably gonna put the desk right behind me until I can get this whole room situated now with two desks. Give me a second and I'll be right back. This is through my desk. Oh my goodness. All right, so in the end, how do I feel about this desk? Unboxing it and all that. The quality overall, 
is outstanding. You know, I haven't done anything on it yet, but it's so sturdy. Every piece is metal except for this sliding board here. Feels like particle board, but every other piece is metal. Quality wise, awesome it's awesome it seems. Obviously I could have gone with like a wood or something like that, but the glass seems just so clean and awesome and nice, modern, I don't know, but I like it. One other thing, which I think is so super cool, is this friggin' pencil rest. It gives you the option to have it or not. Got my pencil. It won't catch a pencil, but it'll have a pencil rest. So like, it's just this little ledge that you can have to hold a pencil, or if you don't want it, you just scooch it around a little bit, and boom, now it's not there. The fact that it's upright, which I can draw like this, just tape it down or whatever, painter's tape, who cares? Tape it down, and I can do this, or <laughs> have this thing up, and it'll hold my paper. But I can do that, be awesome. I've got this little cup that I can have friggin' coffee in or pencils, that's cool. I've got all these other little compartments over here off to the side. Um, I've got this side table here, heck yeah. And two baskets that are fairly large. Um, and then this whole thing is height adjustable and I haven't even talked about this bottom shelf down here. But yeah, overall this desk is super awesome and I'm super happy to have gotten it for so cheap as I did. Uh, Master Touch Fine Art Studio, Art and Craft Station. Look, if you guys are looking for one, you got my recommendation on this. And the thing about a glass top is that it's smooth. And the thing with wood grains is that sometimes the graininess of it can get in the way of coloring or using your pencil. Sometimes you're using colored pencil or something, that wood grain texture could be reflected in whatever you're coloring. And that's what I don't want. Glass is so smooth. That's what I want in my surface um, for arting purposes anyway. But I really don't know what else I can say about this. I've, I think it's a really great desk so far. Anyway, I haven't done anything on it, but um, just the two hours it took me to put it together. I've gotten to know this desk. We're good friends now. You we'll probably get it built in faster than two hours. I've just been recording and kind of goofing off. But um, yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, you know what? I'd give it like a nine and a half out of 10. If I were to rank it, that's what I'd give it. Now I've got a desk here for like drawing and probably more professional stuff, drawing, animating, who the heck knows. And over here, I can do all my messy fun stuff maybe. My, my painting, my hot glue stuff. Who the heck knows? I love table. <laughs> just call me Dwight, I got mega desk right here. I just, I should stack them. That's what I need to do. But anyway, that's it for this one guys. Enough of me rambling. So if you guys like the desk, if you like just Whatever commentary I added, I don't even know. It's been two hours, 11 minutes. I have no idea what I said during all this. I'm gonna find all that out during the editing. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. If you would please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys later.